what was it like working with Run DMC after idolizing them for such a long time to actually get to do some work as a producer with them? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 just you know, <laughs> it's a it's a bucket list thing, obviously, man. That you know I can scratch off, but at the same time, man, even. You know, before that, the first time I think we ran into them and did something with them, we did something with them for the Special Olympics, I believe. And um, when we met them, they were so cool. Mm. You said you, so, you saw them at Special Olympics, you, 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 you met up with them? Yeah, yeah. And we were, um, we met up with them to do the Special Olympics. It was like it was like it, it was like eighty thousand people too in the crowd. It was wow. crazy. So we ended up yeah, and we were for somehow we were sharing like we. I'm not sure if we were sharing dressing rooms or if it was you know I don't know how the setup was, but I just know that they were in there with us, and we were <laughs> like, man, like dang, this is Run DMC just in here chilling with us and just talking to us. So they're just telling us this, and all of the time. Why, why run telling us like, yo, this is how you got to do this, man. This is what I be doing, man. This, this, and that. And we just sitting there with our mouth down, whatever. <laughs> all, even all, like most of the day though, like, well, cause we were there really all day doing the, doing the, you know, setting up for the show and doing the show. Yeah. So run, I mean, um, all of the time we're sitting there, me and Jay are playing um, video games. Oh, <laughs> I think it was NBA, um, I don't know if it was live, one of those NBA basketball games. Yeah, we yeah. Were sitting there, and we were playing the basketball game, and we were just sitting there playing the video game, and it was just, it was just, it was just so cool, man. Because, you know, when you think of them, you think of them as as gods, like bigger than yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop, especially for hip hop, and yeah. then you know to be sitting there, you know, just playing video games, playing video games with with, with Jay. And run and D just telling us, you know, yo, man, you know, this and this and that, and talking to us like as if, you know, it's nothing. It was just, it was crazy. Man. <laughs> it was and, crazy. Man. And you know, we talked about Latif and, and and we get that image of Ron DMC, the three of them, um, that they were sort of down to earth, that that, that that that's the kind of image that we we do get. We don't get that, that sense of snobbery, but it's so it's interesting. To actually hear that you guys are just out out the back, and they and they're just down with you guys. Yeah, man, it was it was really 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 cool, man. It was really cool. So, like I said, and that happened, and that actually happened before I got a chance to even work with them. So, it, like I said, it was it was pretty cool. So we built up, you know, a bond with them, a relationship with them. We ended up even later um, touring with them. We ended up wow. touring with them later as well. So. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So, you know, after after the, the success of the first album, how, how do you guys get in the mind frame to start to work on the next album and, and stuff? Um, it was there was a um a little bit of a um of a gap in between the first and the second album because we did so much so much touring off the first album mm -hmm. so the fact that we did so much touring off the first the fact that we was touring so much off our first album you know it took it took us a minute it took us a minute to um to um put together the second album and um, Tommy Boy was just on our back, like, hey, I need the record. I need the record. You guys are taking too long. You got to take advantage of, you know, why are you hot? I mean, like, what are you doing? And we, I mean, I, at least me, I was thinking, man, we're like, we got to milk what we got. Like, what do you mean? Like, like we on tour. Like, we, 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 we doing the, and, and, you know, it's a record company, so they don't care about you touring. You know, the touring is, just, is, is, is us. We making the money. They, they like, I need product. I need music, you know. <laughs> So, yeah, they were pushing us, and then you know we finally you know got it done. Yeah. But that's why you have you know OPP and our first album came out in '91, and then you had Hip Hop Array come out that, on, on 1993. That that came out. That album was in '93, so that was two years later. And now, but now I'm thinking back, especially the way that music is now, everything's so fast. Thinking back, I'm just like, dang, maybe maybe I maybe Tom. I mean, obviously Tommy Tom Tommy Boy was right. We should have took advantage of it and did a lot more while we had the iron hot. Like so, I mean, you know, you live and you learn. Yeah.
Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview. Loads to come, but thanks a lot for watching.